Hi, all this chairs. My name is Jay Soon, and I am based in Central Manchester. I serve on the Alpha and response teams with my husband Adam. I'm so delighted to share my miracle testimony with you all. Um, here is today's key verse. Um, John chapter 15, verse 9 to 12, NIV. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. I am always challenged by this command, love each other as I have loved you. So I desire to pray to God every day to fill my heart with his love and compassion so that I can love Jesus with his unchanging love and learn to love people as Jesus loves me. I received God's miracle last December as if both of my daughters were able to visit me for three weeks and 10 days. I hadn't seen them for over three years due to COVID and could have never imagined they would come like this due to their job situations. I was excited to see them and had been praying for this time to be very special with the full of love. However, this miracle was joyful, but so hard. In fact, I had to cry out to God for more love and patience and self-control. When I was getting helpful words and unloving actions on our holiday together over Christmas, I was miserable and struggling to love my own daughters. Suffering with the anger and pain in my heart, I had to remember what Jesus said in um, Matthew chapter 10, verse 34 to 36 NIV. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the, to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a thought. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Just as I have had a difficult relationship with my daughters over the 10 years, others might have been going through long suffering with broken relationships, whether it's a spouse, relative, or your own child. Surely it can make us feel so drained and feel like it's impossible to love each other. However, God allows us to go through the challenging times holding on to his word with obedience so that we can remain in his love no matter what. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, NIV, Do not repay evil with evil, or insert with insert. On the, on the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. I was for the Lord. I was waiting for the Lord patiently with prayers, and in the end, I actually humbled myself and was vulnerable and honest when talking to my elder eldest daughter about what was going on in my heart. I might look weak, but our conversation kept us together on that day. I didn't allow anything to spoil that God granted a holiday with any sort of emotional reaction. Our relationship wasn't fixed right there, but I continued to trust that when my two daughters come to Jesus in his time, they will know how much God loves them and how much I also love them. 
I thank God for His words that leads me and counseled me to forgive and not to repay them with hurtful words set out of any frustrations. Whatever situation you are in right now, I just want to say that we are winning thanks to the victory of Jesus. You are living a miraculous life every day as God is with you in Jesus. Even if someone acts like a thorn and thistles poking us, we will not pour out scorn, but pour out the blood of Jesus Christ onto them. In this way, we will see people and situations through the cross rather than our own eyes. Let's keep obeying God's word and remaining in Jesus, choosing to rejoice always and pray, giving thanks to God for everything. Have a blessed day, church.